What you guys got another video here for you on how to fix low audio or low volume or low sound in Windows 10. Now as long as your uh, sound card is working okay and there is no problems with it then this video is for you but if your uh, sound card is failing then you will need to replace it. So first off let's go to the device manager by right clicking on the start button and taking a look in device manager here. Now you don't want to see any sort of exclamation marks anything like this for your audio because that means you don't have the right driver or you don't have the driver installed and this will give you very low volume. Next up you can go into the sound and video and gain controls and you should see your audio uh, sound card there which is Realtek in this case which is pretty common. You can always check for an update by right clicking and run a check online to make sure the driver is installed properly. Now if it's got a yellow exclamation mark or some sort of red cross across it then you know the audio is not working properly. But this is about more low audio rather than no sound at all. So go down to the search box and type in here MS Info and click on the System Info. Once you go inside here you can click on uh, the Components area. So click on Components. Let me just go down to Components here. There we go. And in Sound Devices and you should now see your sound device. This is for your card. This is your Realtek High Definition Audio. Yours may be different but this is what you normally see here. This is your audio card. Now if you don't have this listed here it means it's not recognized and it could be an issue with the card itself. Now underneath the system summary you should see the motherboard manufacturer's name. You can see this is an ASUS board and uh, you can go to the manufacturer's website and of course what you need to do here is click on the support tab and this will allow you to go to uh, the support for your motherboard manufacturer. Okay, So what you want to do is go to driver and tools and then select the operating system that you're using. In this case, it will probably be Windows 10, 64-bit. And down here, you should see a bunch of drivers which you can download and install. And if this is uh, where your problem lies, then you want to download the latest audio driver. Sometimes Windows does install its own drivers and it could cause a problem. So it's always best to get it from the motherboard manufacturer's website. Next up, go to the system settings here and go system. Inside here we're going to go to sound and we're going to make sure that we've got the volume for the master volume up. You can see it's uh, at 67% here. You want to turn this up and if you're having issues here and it's too low then that's probably the reason why. You can also hit the troubleshoot button here and this will give you a troubleshoot for plain audio. So this is just for plain audio but you can also troubleshoot if you're having issues with recording audio and you can also have um, troubleshoot problems for uh, the actual media when you're playing that. It should give you an option to click on speakers and give that a test to see whether that resolves your issue. You can go through here and check uh, for troubleshooting for, for your main audio issues. Okay. Also you've got managing uh, sound devices here so you can click on this here and this will let you see the options for your audio. You should see speakers you can click on the speakers, make sure you click on the right one for your Realtek card or other um, sound card drivers. These are disabled, so make sure your audio is not disabled here. And you can do a little test by clicking on the speakers and it will give you a little test and you should get a sound test coming out. If you're not getting any sort of sound test, then there's an issue with your speakers. You can also make sure the output is selected to your sound card, so make sure you have got the right one selected you should see audio coming out of it but if you've got low audio then you can uh, also check some other things and I'll show you how to do those. So go over to the right hand pane here and click on sound controller panel and this will open up this little box. This is the box you're probably familiar with with previous versions of Windows and you can get to that by going down the bottom as well. Now inside here this is your playback. The playback is the sound that you're hearing on your computer and this is the area where you want to look. So you want to see any sort of sound coming out. There should be a little green bar going up and down. Click on this one and then you can click on configure and this will allow you to configure the audio. So hit the test here and this will give you a sound test through each of the speakers. Now if you've only got two speakers it will be in stereo but if you've got a quadraphonic or you've got 5.1 or 7.1 you need to test to see if you're getting audio from all of those speakers. If there's an issue with some of them like the subwoofer or something like that then you've got issues with your speakers themselves and you need to sort that out.
So I'm just going to quickly finish this off and go next and it should say configuration complete and it does. Now under the speaker tab here we've got other tabs up the top which is your recording which is what you record with and then also communication. Make sure this says do nothing because if you've got it on reduced volume sometimes uh, people have this on reduced volume by 50% or 80% and if you're playing games and stuff and you've got headphones on it will start reducing audio and it hears other sounds and this can be a bit um, confusing and then you end up with low audio so make sure it says do nothing. Now you'll notice there's no enhancements uh, up the top here a tab there's normally an enhancements tab but I'll talk about that a little bit later on but in my case there's an advanced sound options down here so I'm going to click on here and as you can see we have the applications that use our volume. Make sure you've got the application volume up for the application that you're using or some sort of media file. So if you're playing a movie and it's very low, it's probably to do with that. Make sure the output and input is the right um, uh, type of devices you've got in there for your recording and also for your playback. And next up, we're gonna go down to the bottom. You can see the speakers are connected and they're fully 100%. Next up, we're going to go to open the volume mixer and you should see it down here as well. And this is for your devices that are connected. You can use these to play around with the audio itself. Next up, if you look at your media, you should see the audio is very low. And this can be uh, due to um, either default settings or you've messed around with it and it's now gone very low and you can boost the audio. So if you're getting low audio when you're playing movies this is the reason why and you need to bump up the audio and this can be for the same for any media player that you're using whether it be Windows Media Player, VLC, any of those you can control them down the bottom right hand side here by just bumping up it. the volume you can see it's controlling the actual volume on the software there as well. Now you can also do this within the software itself and you can bump this up by dragging it across and making sure and there's also an increase and decrease up the top here as well, which is a bit more in increments. Just make sure you're not blasting it too loud because obviously if it will start sounding modulated, you don't want to do that. About 100% or 90% percent that will do. So once you've done that, you've realized it's not that, you can move on to the next thing. So going down to the search box here, we're going to type troubleshoot inside here. Like I said, you will see troubleshoot settings. And this will give you the troubleshoot settings for each and every uh, part that you want to troubleshoot, whether it be playing audio or whether it will be uh, recording audio. You can see this is where you can do the playing audio. I showed you this bit already, but I just wanted to show you the place where you can get access to those other ones, which is for recording audio and also for your media. So let me just quickly show you those. You've got recording audio here, which you can troubleshoot and also video playback. This is going to be for all your movies, TV shows and stuff like that. If you're getting low audio, you can go in here and troubleshoot as well. So that's where you can do the troubleshooting uh, for your uh, audio devices. OK, so let's go back into the control panel. Just wanted to quickly show you another thing you can check here just to make sure. So make sure your audio cables are plugged in and they're pushed all the way in. These 3.5 mil audio jacks, it should tell you on here, you should see a display in the area of sounds here you should have a little area you should see a little green bar going up and down it will tell you how loud the audio is now if you're plugging your audio into the front header of your case you might want to try it and plug it in round the back you should also get an on-screen display telling you exactly which one you're plugging in make sure you're plugging them in the right way so the microphone into the microphone and the audio going into the audio part then inside here make sure it says device is working properly and make sure you got the latest driver inside there and then also up here you will see your levels here as well and also make sure they're not red like this where they're muted otherwise you're going to end up with problems and down the bottom here this is where it's all changed for Realtek they have their little um, sort of equalizer down the bottom here for your center subwoofer and stuff like that now some of them have been slightly different now these will change due to different motherboards and different manufacturers also you want to check your default format you can put this up and test it to see whether your audio quality gets a little bit better this is to do with the bitrate audio quality make sure your sound card can take that type of bitrate because if it don't it's going to really sound bad and you're going to get modulation and also it will cause a lot of problems with your audio so don't bump it up too high if your audio uh, sound card can't take it okay 
just check with your mother of all manufacturer website and it should tell you the information now also the enhancements tab used to be there and you could go in there and basically put a tick in in loudness equalizer and it will give you the information there uh, on the screen and you can click on the settings and it will allow you to change the graphic uh, equalizer which will allow you to get better audio quality and louder audio uh, sometimes you can go to the control panel and there'll be something in there which is from Realtek and you can basically play around with the audio quality and sound samples inside there as well and get better audio if that's not the case then you can also use something like this which is a piece of software you can download and install and basically it will give you a graphic uh, user interface which will allow you to manipulate your audio and get better sound quality out of your sound card and this is free to download and I'll leave the link in the video description but that's going to be about it that's basically how you can enhance your audio and also get louder audio uh, from your computer hope these little quick tips help you out my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk I shall see you again for another video tomorrow bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.